particular video, we would be covering the topic profit and loss, but we would be covering all the previously asked question in the CSAT paper. So let's start with our today's session. All right. Now, before we directly start with question, it is always easier if we look at the concept first. So SP denotes the selling price of an article. CP denotes the cross price of an article or the initial value that you have put in or the initial investment that is known as the cost price. Now, if you are earning profit, if you are gaining something, that means aapko growth ho raha hai. Iska matlab ye hai ki aapka jo selling price hai article ka wo zada hai cost price se. And how do you calculate the exact value of profit? That is simply SP minus CP. A basic. Suppose aapko loss hota hai. Iska matlab ye ki jitna aapne invest kara hai, aapne utna recover nahi kiya. Which means the initial value that you have invested or your cost price is a greater value than the selling price. So cost price minus SP is used to calculate the loss. SP minus CP is used to calculate the profit. Now, having said that, bahut bari aapke question mein given hota hai, the profit percent or the loss percent. Cost price kisi bhi article ka kuch bhi hai, and then they give you the profit percent is 10% ka profit, ya 20% ka profit, ya 30% ka whatever it is. वैसे क्वेश्चन में सेलिंग प्राइस कैसे निकलेगा या वैसे क्वेश्चन में सेलिंग प्राइस या कॉस्ट प्राइस कैसे निकलेगा अगर प्रॉफिट हो रहा है या लॉस परसेंट गिवन है तो एक फार्मूला के थ्रू होता है मान लो मेरा प्रॉफिट परसेंट है 20% तो मुझे इसे अगर सेलिंग प्राइस कैलकुलेट करना है तो मैं इसे कैलकुलेट करूंगा एज 100 प्लस 20 बाय 100 इनटू व्हाटएवर द कॉस्ट प्राइस इज और लेट्स से वी हैव अ लॉस ऑफ 20% in that case, I would be calculating the selling price as 100 minus L by 100 into the cost price. Ab iska matlab kya? Please understand. Let's say if I recover 100% of the cost price. Iska matlab hai, I am at no profit, no loss scenario. Main isme kuch aur extra in gain kar leta hu. 20% of cost price. This is the profit part. Ab main se kaise denote kar sakta I can write it as 100% and 20%. 120% of CP. 120% of CP is 120 by 100 into CP. 120 by 100 ko 100 plus P by 100 into CP bola ja sakta hai. Yehi main yaha pe likh raha hu. If you look at it, aapko yeh saari cheeze samaj mein aajengi easily. Now, Similarly, cost price ke ho, cross multiply kar do, aapko values aa jayenge. Now, talking about discount, discount kabhi bhi aap initial cost pe nahi dete ho. Discount is always given on a value that is known as the marked price or the listed price. Or ye value aise hoti, jo aapne cost price hai, aapne aapne cost price ko kuch mark up karke likh diya, that is the marked price. Aap is value pe discount dete ho. Aap discount kabhi bhi CP pe nahi dete ho. Please keep this in mind. Discount is always given on marked price or listed price. So the selling price in case of discount is marked price minus whatever the discount. Ye value aapke selling price ke barabar ho jati hai. Discount percent. Aap se poocha jai to kya hoga? Discount by marked price into 100. ये बेसिक चीजें हैं ये आपको ध्यान में रखना है या तो अगर मुझे प्रॉफिट परसेंट निकालना है या लॉस परसेंट निकालना है इट इज ऑलवेज कैलकुलेटेड ऑन द कॉस्ट प्राइस सो प्रॉफिट परसेंट के लिए प्रॉफिट लॉस परसेंट के लिए लॉस बाय सीपी इनटू 100 इज व्हाट विल बी यूजिंग टू कैलकुलेट दीस वैल्यूज आई होप ये बेसिक पॉइंटर्स आपको क्लियर है नाउ मूविंग अहेड Another important and very important concept here is which is 2022 and 2021 and this is a lot of previous year mein bhi repeat hota hai, based on the concept of successive change or net change or resultant change. What is the final change? Kya ho hai? And if we talk about just two variables, so this formula is x plus y plus xy upon 100%. Now, while writing x and y, I have to be only careful while taking the symbol as positive or negative. Man lo a question hai which says a man's salary 
is increased by 20% and then decreased by 10%. So if growth is happening, तो मैं उसे पॉजिटिव साइन से लूंगा मान लो मैं x की वैल्यू 20 लेता हूं तो इसमें मुझे पॉजिटिव साइन लगाना है y की वैल्यू मैं अगर 10 लेता हूं तो मुझे नेगेटिव लगाना है ये नेगेटिव और पॉजिटिव पे ही पूरा फार्मूला बेस्ड है अगर आपने यहां पे नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव पे या जो भी उसका रिस्पेक्टिव साइन है उसको सही तरीके से मार्क नहीं करा तो आंसर कभी भी सही नहीं आएगा सिर्फ मैग्नीट्यूड पुट करने से आंसर नहीं आएगा यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल व्हाइल राइटिंग द साइन and the correct sign so we use a positive sign to denote increment growth or profit we use a negative sign to denote loss decrement or even discounts aapse question pucha ja sakta hai ki what is a single discount which is equivalent to two successive discounts of 50% and 50% एक सिंगल डिस्काउंट बताओ जो कि इन दोनों सक्सेसिव डिस्काउंट्स के बराबर हो तो क्या ये सिंगल डिस्काउंट आप सोच के बताना 50 प्लस 50 क्या ये 100% के बराबर है मतलब टोटल फ्री है नहीं ना इट इज एक्चुअली इक्वल टू अ डिस्काउंट ऑफ 75% अगर आपने इसे सॉल्व करना है तो आप इसे ऐसे सॉल्व कर सकते हो डिस्काउंट्स है सो एक्स वैल्यू इज 50 वाई वैल्यू इज आल्सो 50 बट सिंस दीस आर डिस्काउंट्स वी विल राइट माइनस साइन now let's use the formula minus 50 minus 50 minus minus plus 50 into 50 by 100 so these two zeros go is cancel out we have minus 100 plus 25 which is a negative of 75 and a negative sign here shows that we are taking about or talking about discount so single discount would be equal to 75% I hope ये formula भी clear है। अगर हाँ, तो then we can straight away start with questions। चलिए, पहले question से start करते हैं। From the year 2022, the increase in the price of a certain article is 25%. X is equal to 25% plus 25. Decrement is 20%. Y is equal to minus 20%. What is the net change up to now? देखते हैं। कि अगर मैं इंक्रीज कर रहा हूं डिक्रीज कर रहा हूं तो नेट चेंज क्या आ रहा है तो इट इज x plus y plus x into y upon 100% so it is 25 minus 20 plus minus minus 25 into 20 by 100 this is 5 minus 5 और 0% which means no change up to now इसका मतलब यह कि यह दो changes के वजह से there is no change जो value थी article की वही रह गई then it is again increased by 10% what is the resultant increase 10% increase option B yes it's that simple चलिए moving on to the next question let's see what do we have here the price of an article is decreased by 20 and the new price is increased by 25. X is minus 20. Y is plus 25. They have respective sign. Decrement to minus. Increment to positive. Net change, you know what is happening. Or the resulted change. X plus Y plus X into Y upon 100%. So you can write it as minus 20 plus 25 plus minus minus 20 into 25 upon 100. How much is this value? This is 5 minus 5 or 0% or no change. Option A is the correct fit. Similar, देख रहे हो आप किस तरीके से repeat हो रहे questions. Although 2022 का paper, I could say it was a bit lengthier, but ऐसे questions से आपका time बचता है. अगर आपने ऐसे questions attempt करने, जल्दी से उसे attempt करो. This will give you certain amount of time to tackle other questions as well. चलिए, next question, 2022. A person bought a car and sold it for 3 lakh SP. If 
we incurred a loss of 20%, what, how much did he spend to buy the car? That is, we are looking out for the initial cost price. Cost price in terms of loss is given by the formula 100 by 100 minus L into 3000. 3 lakh, sorry. So this is 100 by 100 minus 20, which is 80 into 3 lakh. So this is 5 times, this is 4 times, this goes 7 times, 5, 0, 0, 0. 75 into 5 is 375, triple zero. Option D is the correct fit. Kitna simple hai ye aap mujhe batao. Profit and loss, although it's a difficult topic, sometimes it may be considered as a difficult one for other competitive exams. Lekin aap ke syllabus ke saap se, dekho aapko kaise questions tackle karne ko mil rahe for the past three years. Kitne basic questions hai. Okay, moving on. Next one. Rakesh had money to buy eight mobile handsets for a specific company but the retailer offered very good discount on that particular handset and Rakesh now can buy 10 mobile handset with the amount he had what was the discount that the retailer offered okay now he can buy 100% off 100% off means agar kisi bhi article ko total free kar diya jaye तो वो 100% फ्री है ऐसे कितने आर्टिकल को फ्री करा गया ऐसे दो आर्टिकल्स को फ्री करा गया बिकॉज़ ही इज बाइंग टू मोर दैट मींस 200 एंड दिस वाज फॉर एट आर्टिकल्स तो कितने का आ गया डिस्काउंट इट इज एक्चुअली इफ वी कट इट थ्रू एट इट इज 2 टाइम्स 16 एंड देन 5 टाइम 25% ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट फिट is as simple as it is okay now rakesh and rajesh together bought 10 balls and 10 rackets together respectively nahi hai please understand yahan pe dikkat aa rahi hai agar aapne ise respectively dekh liya together agar main inke purchase ko dekhu to ye do cheeze khareed rahe hain ye rakesh spent 1300 and rajesh spent 1500 how much is the spend how much have they spent all together? They have spent 2800 all together. And using this 2800, they have bought 10 balls. B is a representation of ball and 10 rackets. Also, we know a relation between a ball and a racket. Each racket costs three times of a ball. That is, each racket is three times of a ball. Now, this is 10B plus 10 into 3b so this 2800 is 10b plus 30b so 2800 is 40b now 40 goes 70 so the price of a ball is 70 what is the price of a racket? Racket is priced at 3B. So racket would be equal to 3 into 70, which is 210. Option C. Clear? Now, if they ask you for ball, the price is 70. They are not asking for a ball, they are asking for the price of a racket, and racket is 210. Moving on. A shopkeeper sells an article at 40 and gets x percent profit selling price is given 40 so 100 by 100 plus x into 40 this is the cost price or when he sells it at rupees 20 he faces same percentage of loss which means 100 by 100 minus x into 20 this is also equal to the cost price and since these two are cost price i can always equate them together now what do we have this 100 and this 100 is cancelled 
20 is cancelled two times so we have 2 into 100 minus x cross multiplication and this part goes here so it is 100 plus x 200 minus 2x is 100 plus x 3x is equal to 100 or x is equal to 100 by 3 which is 1 third of 100 or 33.33 percent this can also be written as 1 by third x ki value अब अगर मैं x को प्रॉफिट वाले सिनेरियो में देखूं तो इसका मतलब यह है कि प्रॉफिट कितने का और ये x की वैल्यू आ रही है राइट x 1/3 इसका मतलब यह है कि अगर मैं प्रॉफिट की बात करूं तो इससे वन पार्ट का प्रॉफिट हो रहा है ऑन एवरी थ्री पार्ट्स सो थ्री पार्ट इज द कॉस्ट प्राइस वन पार्ट इज द प्रॉफिट सो व्हाट इज द सेलिंग प्राइस वन प्लस थ्री पार्ट व्हिच इज फोर पार्ट्स also in terms of profit what is my selling price that is equal to actual rupees 40 rupees 40 is equal to four parts cost price is three parts so one part is equal to rupees 10 and similarly three parts is equal to rupees 30 and three parts is nothing but the cost price let's move on to the next question okay gopal bought a cell phone and sold it to ram at 10% profit then ram wanted to sell it back to gopal at 10% loss what will be gopal's position if he agreed okay let's see let the cost of the cell phone be or let's do it with successive change profit so 10% profit x value is plus 10 then loss so y value is minus 10 so it is 10 minus 10 plus minus minus 10 into 10 upon 100 these two goes out and we are one percent minus or loss of one percent now this loss of one percent is for ram ram is selling it at a loss ultimately now what happens to gopal gopal will be gaining because gopal started with 100 now i'll explain this to you in another way let's say gopal invested 100 rupees to buy this after 10 percent profit so it becomes 110 now ram sell it back with a loss of 10 percent 10 percent of this value 110 is 11 so minus 11 we get 99 so gopal now only pays 99 so gopal is actually gaining one percent gopal started with this and ultimately he has to pay only 99 so gopal is gaining one percent in this scenario now a person allows 10 percent discount they go discount word rai please look out for the mark price see the mark price is 70. mark price is 770 discount is 10 percent 10 percent of this value is 77 10% of 770 is 77 now if we look at the selling price it is a subtraction of this part so how much is this value 3 then this is 9693 right this is the selling price now he makes a 10% gain so profit is 10% what is the cost price 100 by 100 plus p that is 10 into 693 100 by 100 plus 10 into 
100 by 110 into 693 6 times 3 times so it is 630 as our cost price I hope this is clear to everyone okay moving on to the last question and simply we can start by taking the successive discount part makes a profit so x is plus 10 suffers a loss so y is minus 10 now tell me what is the net change ultimately x plus y plus x y by 100 10 minus 10 plus minus minus 10 into 10 upon 100 these two goes out minus 1% or ultimately loss of 1% he suffers a loss of 1% that is my correct answer all right see you all in the next video stay tuned take care bye bye god bless you all